Well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, alright? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. That's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. 
Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. for president and you'll have a friendly face in the White House. A man you can trust. A local man who likes golf and laughing and photo opportunities at your store or place of business. Just send me a letter. I'll send you an automated photocopied response. We call it democracy. And that's where the money goes. Now, just a Yo, minute. Don't interrupt. Let me finish. But you're not... Then this man won't let me speak. You, Shorty, shut up and let me speak. I'm taller than him, ladies and gentlemen, by at least three inches, which means I'm a lot more respectable looking. Everyone knows politicians lie and steal and cheat, but at least with me in charge, you know I look good and I have a very supercilious manner. up your spades, go into your garden, start digging as deep and as far as you can. Pretty soon the whole state will be flooded and ruined, and then they'll have to leave. We must build a moat to the north or they will come down and ruin this great state. And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question. I'm all the cheek. Were you? Of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but... I've been here for five years, which is a very long time. Yes, it is. A very long time. Almost as long as this show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Pressing Issues with... And I'm boiling! <laughs> 